So now we need to address how to put a handle on to stuff. Two ways that uh, comes to mind, and I've used both. One is to carve a plug out of here, like a dowel, a male member, a lingam. Or the other is to, to carve a hole in here, down the centre, and then put a plug in. Now, to me, um, that's what you do if, if the, um, the wood itself has rotted a bit or is cracked and you don't want to trust the, the, the core of the wood to have the, the strength to, um, to do the job of supporting weight on the handle it's going to apply leverage onto the plug. So we will be uh, doing the, uh, the carving off the wood. So you end up with a plug which goes into a hole in the handle, the female part. So you commence. You roughly you get this piece of wood. I'd cut off at an angle of the living tree. So, rather than waste my time in levelling that off, that'll be part of the carving process. So, I've established that roughly. There it is. That's on the horizontal, or shall we say, right angle to the axis of the shaft. So, then we need to have a okay, how, how thick is going to be the handle. Let's say we'll use something about the same dimension as the walking stick, say so the grasp. Well then, uh, take the distance, as you say, the diameter of, of the stick, and so you want the plug to come up about two-thirds. So therefore, we'll do that, and Roughly where I put the, uh, the, the the band here. Okay, so we'll do that, and uh, that'll give us a plug that'll have the right uh, right depth. If it's too long, shave it off. If it's too short, well then we we'll just have to come down the shoulder a bit and commence the process again. So now, you know, it's all about carving. So off you go. And and with a sharp blade, such as this Viking inspired Norwegian carving blade, we're off to a good form. Any good sharp edged knife will do the trick. This is particularly good because it comes to a very fine point. So when it comes to drilling the plug, I can use this as an auger and we'll start to create the hole and I'll show you that uh, next stage shortly. So here we go and we just carve away bearing in mind that you don't want to get excited and you come to having come in here sufficiently and you got bugger all, excuse me, you have very little left in the center to make the plug in the thickness that you need. So you're going to be Mindful of of how far into into the core we go at the top end. So to that end, we'll take a, uh, a ruler and uh, inscribe the, uh, the appropriate thickness for the plug or for for the uh, lingam. So that you then have something to go by and you only go to the marker as, as you need me and I'll, I'll, I'll do that in a second. Okay, so here we go again. So, you know, 
slicing away and make, making sure that, that you have in fact made a, an appropriate diameter circle the center of the stick so that when we slice we stop before that and then we can do a fine controlled um, pairing of the wood down to the shoulder so it's an even diameter down this section. So you know it's, it's really about cutting and, and turning the knife as you as you slice because we are after all going to have a post here. So dig in and out so that we have a bit of action here. And there's of course always a knot somewhere and oak knots are really good. They have more resistance than pine. Okay, getting close to, to the circumference of that, that part of the circle. Leading um, through that knot, which of course is going to be quite a reinforcer for the plug itself. Yeah, that's as far as we'll go with this uh, part of it for now. And So we already have a plug shape appearing. So now we need to just come down and across to even that up. And so, you know, you, the thumb on the back of the blade, you have more control as you shave away. Get the picture. See, we're starting to get a good shoulder happening here. Now I'm doing the standing up, as opposed to having the wood resting in my lap, say, as I'm doing it. Just to show you can do this standing on your head if you, if you have a mind to it and you don't have too much blood coming to you. your head. So now we're starting to get that shoulder. So repeat that process until we get right down to fine, fine level shoulder here and a good plug. Okay, so. Here's a half decent uh, handle for a walking stick. Got bark still on it, so you know, slice the bark off. Now, as I showed you in shaping the, uh, preparing the shaft for the walking stick that I you grabbed a spoke shave and, uh, and went for it. And uh, now spoke shave uh, on a piece of length of wood like this. Uh, that's a bit awkward. You really need two hands to manipulate the uh, shaver. So here we go. Carving in a way. Now, of course, 
could have done the length of the shot for the stick the same way. But, uh, the reality was that the bark on the length of the stick, because of the age of the wood, the youngness of the growth of the timber, was very thin compared to this and, and uh, very tight. And, uh, and therefore, uh, the spoke shape comes into, into place. Whereas this much thicker bark, as you might have noticed, and uh, quickly done, just sanding down the track after I've shaped the grip for the hand and stuff. Now, so here we are. Decided that, uh, well, having a look, you, you want a good curve, just a natural inclined curve to the blade because, or rather to the handle, because you, you'll be in fact gripping it. You know, so, so you want something that, you know, say we, we mount the handle to the stick around here, and then there, there, there's a, a sweep which fits into the, the curvature of the palm. Like a naturally occurring, saves you a lot of work, having to then cut the wood away to, to in fact, make a sweep. You know, minimal uh, needs to achieve the maximum effect. However, of course, you know, if you're not lucky enough to get something with a curve on it, well then, any piece will do, just shape it. Okay, so now, um, let's see. I think be good, yeah, good there. So that means that we need to put the control around it there. Now you want a piece protruding over the stick at the front, roughly about that much. So the plug's about there. Bring it here, so start the hole there. And uh, then, with a, with a fine pointed blade like this, we, um, we just commence to bore, you know, using an auger action. Here, yeah, slowly boring ourselves into the wood. Yeah, so that the cutter in the action leads away. So now we're, we're digging away nicely. And this is the commencement of a, of a good hole. See? Now of course we want that blade, tip that blade to reach about there. Okay, so, we, so, so we have a, a bit of a distance to go, but it really doesn't take much time at all. Hardly any effort. Because you are actually slicing thin layers of, of wood away each time that you turn the blade. And so of course you want to limit yourself in terms of how far out you go in the swinging action by what you've determined to be the diameter of the post to go into this hole. Now I determined this to be about 12 mil, so we'll go and see how, whether I've gone over. Well, it just so happens, a bit of practice perhaps. You know, I've got about 12, so, yep, 12 there, and about 12 there. So therefore I won't go any further out, but I'll just now deepen, deepen the hole. So you know the picture is, is that this carved post, lingam, We'll go into the yoni, the hole in the wood.
and it'll sit like so. And that's, that's, that's a nice sort of overhang for the front. And then we have the handle there. Of course, it'll be thinner. And I'll carve hand grooves, or rather finger grooves, to assist in, in, a, in a good grip. So here is a piece that I've already done in the rough, different stages for different uh, sticks in the making. So this is the beginnings of, of the hand grooves, or finger grooves I, I must say. And this is the, the carved hole using the same blade. And so it fits nicely like so. And uh, this one, so we have sandpaper and, uh, and uh, some detail work. This is merely ready to go. Of course, just then, I uh, bumped into a uh, totem post in the making, which has the, the Norse uh, main gods and goddesses. This is Frey, Thor, Tyr, this is lost an arm because he, he pledged to uh, release the Fenris wolf if he was successful in, in fettering the Fenris Wolf. And the Fenris Wolf said, oh, well, okay, I, I'll join you in this game. But you promised. And of course, the promise wasn't held because the purpose was to contain the, the, the natural, nature's earth energy that the Fenris Wolf embodies. Insofar as it was a, an attempt by the gods to control nature. Now, that only uh, worked for so long. Not a story in that. And, uh, and so, here we have Luki being tied. And there is uh, Bard, Bragi, playing his harp with his feet. And uh, then, we have uh, Odin on his steed, Yggdrasil on the uh, royal tree, and another Odin seated on his throne. And, uh, and so this is the so there's uh, Odin again on this side, and, and uh, again there, and uh, his tree. So. And of course you have the Futhark going down the uh, two bands of, um, of the World Serpent in relief and again in high relief going in opposite directions. And another uh, post for the female deities and goddesses um, is also there being worked on. <laughs> 